So, um, biochar is charcoal intended to mix with the soil for improving soil structure, improving nutrient holding structure, and providing a place for microorganisms to latch onto. One of the other uses for biochar is I put it in the propagating compost. I make my own propagating compost. This is simply a mix of soil, a bit of biochar, and composted horse manure. These little squashes growing in. See the charcoal particles in there. And it's very fine. Um, the charcoal has an effect of soaking, taking the nutrients from the soil. It's actually sucking nutrients out, which isn't such a bad thing with raising small baby plants. You, um, if you're making your own compost, you want to suck some of the nitrogen out, and then it will slowly release it as the plants planted out. Um, so that's why I mix biochar in with the propagating compost. It's to actually reduce the, nutri the, the nitrogen levels and to reduce the risk of damping off. So well, and it's it's good effective. There is some damping off. It's it's effective homemade compost for an organic system. There's, bit, there's charcoal bits in the, in the ground, little bits, smaller bits, and um, what it's doing here is it's, um, it, it retains moisture, it'll slowly break down with the soil, make the soil black. The Amazon Indians were adding charcoal to soil 8,000 years ago, and um, improving the soil structure, improving the nutrient holding capacities of the soil, um, just most of the nutrients aren't actually released to the plants. They're lost to the atmosphere or with runoff. Certainly out, outside, lost in the rain. This is, was very sandy soil, it's now rich in manure. Um, so I put charcoal in. And the other important point about sequestering carbon if I was to just compost the wood chippings, then the carbon would be released back to the sky. Sick girl. <laughs> By turning the ch wood chippings into charcoal, powdered char uh, five quite fine charcoal because it's from small chippings, the carbon is effectively uh, locked in. So American Indians were doing this 8,000 years ago. Their carbon is still available, it's still in the soil. 8,000 years later, it's good long-term effective carbon sequestering. It's, um, if every small organic farm was doing this, then we would be reversing the process of climate change. And it does.